Vernon Abeda. Good afternoon. I am Vernon Abeda. I'm the governor for the Pueblo of Isleta, which is a member of the coalition of the six Middle Rio Grande Pueblos. The coalition is comprised of, from the, from the north to the south, the Pueblo of Cochiri, Santa Domingo, San Felipe, Santa Ana, Sandia, and Isleta. New Mexico's Pueblos are the oldest irrigators in the Rio Grande Valley, and the six of us in the Middle Rio Grande work collectively to manage and protect our water rights and water resources. I make these remarks on behalf of all six of the coalition Pueblos. I would like to take a moment to recognize the other coalition Pueblos that are here with me today. Representatives from Cochiri, Santa Domingo, Santa Ana are, in, are, in, are attending in person, and representatives of San Felipe and Sandia, including coalition chairman, or coalition chairman Governor Stuart Parsano, are attending virtually. I believe this is the first time we have ever attended a compact commission meeting. It is good to be here today with all of you. As I mentioned, the coalition pueblos have cultivated and lived on their on their present day lands since time immemorial. For centuries prior to the arrival of the Spanish, the coalition pueblos have strived to be proactive in the issues and decision-making processes that affect how the water resources we depend on are managed and, a, and apportioned. In the past, Bureau of Indian Affairs, the BIA, has represented the Pueblos at commission meetings. However, it is now time the coalition interacts with the commission directly and for the commission to engage the coalition Pueblos so that our voices can be heard. Today, we are calling for a seat at the table when issues concerning our water rights and resources are being discussed and decisions made. Currently, our water resources are being adversely affected and or threatened by the ongoing mega drought and climate changes, the Texas v. New Mexico Supreme Court litigation, and the potential that the dispute could expand into the middle and upper valleys of the Rio Grande Basin. Environmental groups threatening, again, to file lawsuits concerning the alleged failure of the federal government to keep sufficient measures to protect endangered species and aging irrigation infrastructure in dire need of repair and efficient improvements. On the positive side, I am pleased to share with you a welcome to development. Early this year, in the, early this year the Department of the Interior took the steps of establishing a federal assessment team to help the coalition pueblos bring the process of resolving our water rights claims. We extend the thank to the state of New Mexico and the Middle Rio Grande Conservancy District for the support of their endeavor. For those of you from Colorado and Texas who may not be familiar with the unique legal status of certain of our water rights, we want to mention the two federal laws which recognize the coalition pueblos rights to the Rio Grande surface water. On March, on March 13, 1928, and again on August 27, 1935, Congress enacted legislation which recognizes protected coalition Pueblos water rights in the, in the Middle Rio Grande Valley. These include prior and paramount rights to irrigate 8,847 acres and rights for domestic use and livestock purposes. Additionally, water rights for the coalition Pueblos 12,600 acres of newly reclaimed lands, which are mandated to be as equal to those like the MRGCD lands. While not the full extent of the Pueblo's total water rights, the rights, along, the rights alone guarantee us enough water to irrigate over 20,000 acres of the coalition Pueblo lands. These statutes underscore the coalition's significant interest in the Rio Grande water. Almost exactly 10 years after the 1928 Act, the Compact states signed the Rio Grande Compact. As you know, it specifically provides in Article 16 that nothing in this compact shall be construed as affecting the obligations of the United States of America to Mexico under, ex under existing treaties or to the Indian tribes or as impairing the rights of the Indian tribes. Turning briefly to water operations in Alvado Reservoir, to ensure sufficient surface water to meet our prior and paramount water rights, each year is stored during the spring runoff in an amount, 
in an amount that is calculated to be sufficient to meet those rights. However, this year, because of much needed repairs to Alvado Dam, no water is being stored there this year, nor will water likely be stored there for another two more irrigation seasons. Consequently, our prior and paramount water must be stored in an alternate reservoir, which is Abiquiu, for the next few years. All other governments here today, all of the governments here today cooperated to help make this happen. We thank all of you for that. We specifically want to recognize the Bureau of Reclamation for this assistance in that effort. While we submit that the storage and release of water for the Coalition Pueblos is outside the Rio Grande Compact and thus the Commissioner's purview, we appreciate that none of the compact states objected to the deviation proposed by the Army Corps to store up to 20,000 acre feet of prior and paramount water at Abiquiu Reservoir this year. We are particular, particularly appreciative of Texas's expression, express recognition of Article 16 of the Rio Grande Compact. In conclusion, we respectfully request that going forward that the coalition pueblos be included in all correspondence and all intergovernmental water management meetings that have the potential to impact our Rio Grande water, including water operations, management, and coordinations. We further request that the coalition pueblos be invited to future compact commissioning meetings. Thank you, and the commission, the commission, the coalition pueblos look forward to an open, candid, and constructive relationship with the commission. Thank you very much. Thank you. Really.